What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald, from Bank of Gerald, here with another video update. Today is Saturday, March the 19th, 2022. Just barely March the 19th. It's 1240 a.m. in the morning. And I figure since I'm already up and I just did a video on another platform, I might as well jump in here and do an IPC update because we've got some crypto to withdraw. Before I get started in that withdrawal, I want to remind everyone that I am not a financial advisor this is not financial advice, and I am not your financial advisor. I'm just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I'm cranking out that crypto in many different platforms. Nothing more, nothing less. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BLJ, make sure you hit that notification bell as well. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. As you can see here, I've got $4,500 in my USDT wallet ready to withdraw. That means that I've got my trading capital, my, my trading, uh, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? My trading profits. I have also received my management bonus, which I love, love, love. And of course, I've been getting small bonuses here and there when people reinvest from their USDT wallets back into their MT4s or, or raise their trading capital. Now, I'm not sure if this has been fixed just yet, but it was not showing my group volume for a little while. And I had seen it, somebody mentioned that they had seen it decreasing. Yeah, and I expect it to decrease sometimes because people are going to be pulling their capital. You know, I did the same thing. I pulled my capital. I had 30 some thousand dollars in here. And I said, well, you only, I only need 10000 to be at the top level of this company. So let me just go ahead and diversify a bit. So that's what I did. And, of course, I dropped a video earlier about the new bot. Um, some people have said, well, why don't you just use your your capital from your usdt wallet and join the new bot because that's that is what i said i wanted to do but here's the thing if you can only have one bot running at one time what's going to happen to the t the capital that you already have and i don't want to risk the capital that i already have just to put some new money in a new bot that's not what i wanted to do what i was planning on doing is using the capital that i already have and transferring it into the new bot but if I can't do that, then I might as well just keep it the way it is for right now until more information comes out. Um, one thing that I was reminded also is that this bot has not been tested in the public. Um, they say that there's analysis and this, that, and the third and diff the different things, and that's great, all right? Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that this is a bad thing, but what I'm saying is we have not seen any proof. We have not seen any testing on it. So that just is what it is, all right? Um, so you take that for what it is. But what we're going to do right here is I want to show you guys where to find how much you got paid if you got a management bonus, if you got those different things. So this does have management bonus report, but I want to go to fund transaction history because that's what what is uh, easiest for me to find it as long as it's moving efficiently. If it's not, then we're not going to waste a whole lot of time doing this. We're just going to get to a withdrawal. But um, I do want to be able to show where the money's coming from. And I know there's probably a lot of people online right now, and I get it. I 100% get it, because they're trying to get in here and get their coins out, just like me. So I don't know if anybody can kind of see it a little bit, but it's a little, it's a little grayed, but my management bonus was $3,821. Um, I don't, I see profit from trading account. They took their $112 and I got my $450 for trading this week. So that $450 minus their 20%, well, minus their 20% was from, you know, they gave me $450 back. So it would have been $450 plus $112. That's what they took. But anyway, I got my 450, um, and uh, let's see. Introduction to management bon bonus right there, 3821. So of course we've had some sprinkles of sponsorship bonus. People that are just topping up their accounts, they're putting in their, um, they're putting back in their earnings, they're compounding and doing different stuff like that. And more power to them, because that's what I did for a point. That's what I do throughout the week. Excuse me for yawning. That's what I do throughout the week when I get referral commissions and stuff like that. I put them in my trading account, and I wait for Friday night, Saturday morning like I'm up right now to do my withdrawals. 
So hopefully it'll be here in the next 24 hours. I'd love to get it before Sunday morning. But uh, if not, then, oh, well, it is what it is. We don't complain. We just crank that crypto, and we practice patience. We push that P. All right? So I'm going to go ahead back to the home page if it will allow me to. Matter of fact, I probably should have just gone ahead and pressed transaction and go to withdraw. That's what I probably should have did because I know there's got to be mad people on this platform right now trying to figure out or trying to get in here and get their withdrawals. So that could be a reason why the website is moving slow. And I won't belabor. If this takes long, I'm going to make this video short, and y'all just have to take my word for it that I made a withdrawal because um, the next time you'll see me do a video, you shouldn't see any money here in the USDT wallet part. Um, seems like it's moving along now. So I'm going to go ahead and go to transaction and go to withdraw. And of course, everybody knows the process. I suggest everyone set up your 2FAs so you – lessen the risk of yourself getting hacked or your account compromised, um, especially if you're dealing with um, a large account, anything like that. So we've got here, if it'll let me type. I don't know what fail to receive currency rate means. Like I said previously, I believe this is just because there's a lot of people trying to get on at one time. Here's an announcement. Um, there's going to be an upgrade being done to MT4 IPI servers on today, the 19th of March, 2022. During the upgrade, certain features and services related to the MT4 system, including internal transfers, will temporarily be unavailable. Though main features such as bot subscription and trading function will function as per usual. The upgrade is in line with our mission to continuously improve our platform to provide the best for our users. IP Capital apologizes for any inconvenience caused, and we would like to thank everyone for their cooperation and support. So I don't think this has anything to do with withdrawals, but more about internal transfers. And what we're doing is not an internal transfer. So... We're going to come in here, and we're going to finally be able to type something. Hallelujah. All right. I already got my wallet set up there. Um, as the payment currency is different from the wallet currency, we'll use our predetermined Predefined exchange rate to do the conversion. The current exchange rate is NA. Okay. Well, if there's no charges, I don't know if they've lifted charges for today or whatever, but I'm going to go ahead and get a OTP code sent. And see if that comes through without any issues. Let's see here. And it did. No issues. And of course, we have our trusty Google Authenticator. Hmm. Huh. Now, what it's not allowing me to do is hit submit. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page. Go ahead and click withdraw again. Let me just see what happens. Now, I want to be frank about this. Everyone is trying to withdraw right now. So I just try to sneak it in. If I can, then great. If I can't, then I deal with it. Um, a lot of the leaders that, well, even my upline says that our team should probably wait till Sunday to do withdrawals. So that they won't deal, they won't have to deal with this stuff. So it keeps saying fail to retrieve currency rate. And that might have something to do with not being able to hit the submit button. So either way, we try to get a withdrawal done. We can't right now, but that's okay. We're patient with the process. 
A lot of people are probably coming in here and trying to figure out. I'm probably sure. Well, I am sure there's going to be a lot of people that are probably experiencing the same thing um, out there in the space. And might look to this video for a little bit of guidance. Just know that I just found out when you did. And uh, my posture is going to be patience. It has been patience from the start with IPC. And that's what it will continue to be. Um, they seem to always make it right. Of course, I'm not guaranteeing future results because of past results, but you know what I'm saying. Um, with that being said, put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is the wild, wild west. And if you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked. Ask me how I know. It's not very fun at all. If you like this content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to be updated about everything going on here at BLJ, make sure you hit that notification bell as well. All right, y'all. This is IPC. Maybe we'll try again when the sun comes up and we'll see if we have a better result on a withdrawal in this currency exchange thing, whatever. All right, peace out. See you on the next one.